As someone who's lived all over the world, it's my responsibility to let Americans know that the rest of us think a lot of what you guys do is super weird. For example, American football, which you guys think of as the most normal thing ever. But let me assure you, everything about it is crazy. Before the game even starts, everyone has to stand up and sing the national anthem together. Nobody else on the planet does that. We just assume everyone knows what country they're in before the game starts. And then there's the game itself. First of all, the teams all have like 300 people. That's not a sport, that's an army. There's so many people that everyone has their own special little job to do. Like one guy throws the ball, one guy kicks the ball, one guy throws the ball to the guy who throws the ball. And speaking of the ball, this isn't normal either, okay? Balls are supposed to be round. That's the main thing that makes it a ball. But in this insane sport, even the ball looks like it has brain damage. And what's with the scoring? Six points for a touchdown, one point for the kick after you make it, but if you make the same kick before you scored, it would have been three points. And you can also score a touchdown again after the touchdown, but this time it's only worth two points. Who came out with this shit? If you ask me, a touchdown should be worth 100 points. The player deserves it. He basically dodged a mugging with a slippery almond in his hand. And 100 points would be way easier to keep up with than all these other numbers. How do you people get drunk at these games and still follow along without a spreadsheet? And speaking of drinking, you guys realize how weird tailgating is, right? Like, I don't care how you want to brand it, getting drunk in a parking lot isn't a family activity. It's a sign to get your life together. I feel like the whole thing started because a bunch of pickup trucks broke down in a stadium parking lot and they just tried to play it off like, oh, oh no, 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 we meant to park here for five hours before the game. But if you're tailgating at a game, better not be too young because don't forget about America's super weird drinking age. You gotta be 21 to drink in this country? That doesn't make sense. Okay, I guess you're trying to keep college kids from becoming alcoholics or something, but I'm pretty sure that experiment has failed. College dorms are so soaked in booze that if you lit a match, the whole building would explode. So maybe you're not going to a game. Maybe you're watching at home instead. In which case, you'll probably see about 50 TV ads for prescription drugs, which I know you think is normal, but trust me, you're the only ones. There's a reason this doesn't happen in other countries. Most of the people watching TV aren't doctors, so there's no reason to market to them directly, especially the way they do it. They're always asking you questions like, hey, are you drowsy or sad or achy or farting? <laughs> yes, I'm all those things right now because I'm a f***ing person. If someone needs a drug, the doctor will prescribe it. You shouldn't have to ask them if it's right for you. This doesn't happen in any other part of medical care. Okay, there's no TV ads asking you to ask your doctor whether they should cup your balls and make you cough. Your pervert doctor will do that on their own. Look, do your thing, America, okay? Just know that whenever you're ready, you're more than welcome to join the rest of the world and start following soccer, a sport where the ball is round, the scoring is simple, and the only thing fans are doing in the parking lot is fighting each other to the death, like God intended.